Hot Dog Judge Steve Harvey is not like a lot of judges. In his courtroom, common sense prevails. And that's because Judge Steve Harvey is neither a lawyer nor a judge. <laughs> like this. He has no actual credentials. But in the opening of the show, he goes, in my courtroom, common sense prevails, and I'm too fly to wear a robe. <laughs> and I go, well, you're not a judge. You wouldn't. I, I Whoever thought of this deserves like three raises. I love it already. I haven't seen one second of it. Dude, they are so confident in this idea. It's not on daytime television. This is prime time, ABC? This is ABC Tuesday, 8 p.m. Yeah, this is prime <laughs> time network television. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hulu, the whole deal. Streaming. Yes. This and and it's like, okay, well, I gotta I gotta see what makes this different. And it's it, it it's literally it's just a court show, except Steve Harvey's not a judge, and the audience is very animated. He goes no like idea. this. He goes like this. He goes like well, I let my friend money, and he didn't pay me back. And then the courtroom audience goes, oh. <laughs> and Steve Harvey does not silence them ever. Do you know who was on the show? Mm -mm. J.J. Dillon and the taskmaster Kevin Sullivan. <laughs> what? Yes. What? Yes. Professional wrestling legends of the territory era. Kevin Sullivan, who wrestled in WCW, is the taskmaster, uh, leader of the Dungeon of Doom. You know, also was a was a demonic Satanist in Florida Championship Wrestling, a wrestling booker of note. I mean, this guy is a legend. He was being sued by manager of the Four Horsemen, J.J. Dillon, the original Four Horsemen, Ric Flair, Tully Blanchard, Arn Anderson, Ole Anderson, and then their manager, J.J. Dillon. J.J. suing... The Taskmaster. And by the way, this is how you know. This is like, you know how when they try to incorporate like elements of geek culture into shows and the geeks mm. are like, this is fake. This sucks. You yeah. know, because they didn't get all the details right. Steve Harvey goes like this. I've been watching wrestling forever. I'm the biggest wrestling fan. Who do you go by? Because J.J. Dillon is using a shoot name, like Jim Morrison or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm, like, looking at him. I'm like, what do you mean? Who do you? Like, that's fucking clearly J.J. Dillon. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, anybody could see that's J.J. Dillon. And he goes, J.J. Dillon. I was the manager of Ric Flair and the Four Horsemen. And Steve Harvey goes, no, no, no. I like Bobo Brazil and the Iron Sheik. And J.J. Dillon's like, see? And then he looks at Kevin Sullivan who is on the show using the name Kevin, Kevin. Sullivan. <laughs> and Kevin Sullivan goes, he goes, and who did you wrestle as? And I go, this is insulting. That's Kevin Sullivan. And he goes, I wrestle as the taskmaster, Kevin Sullivan. And my, my, uh, my whole mission was to end Hulkamania once and for all. And I go, my man right now, is on primetime network television shouting out the Dungeon of Doom. I, God bless you, Kevin Sullivan. But then Steve Harvey. That is amazing. Steve Harvey goes like this. He goes, oh, man, you're the Taskmaster? And it's like, the Taskmaster? And he's like, that was when Hogan first started, right? And Kevin Sullivan was like, yup. And I was like, that was 1994. No, no it wasn't. It, what, what are you talking <laughs> about? When, it was, uh, Hogan was past his prime. The Dungeon of Doom? That was 94, 95. Everybody was past their prime. He didn't want to correct poor Steve Harvey. He goes like this. 100% right, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to get on his bad side. No, because he's no, it's, it's common sense here. I don't have to pay the 7,500 back. And, you know, it wasn't a bitter rivalry between J.J. and Kevin Sullivan. But the problem was they went to an autograph signing. And Kevin Sullivan's like, Man, I'm trying to buy this boat, but I can only pay for half of it, and they're about to take it away. And J.J. Dillon, he apparently was about to see his daughter after the convention. She's in law school. He's going to give her some money. So he had some money on hand. He said he had a little bit of extra money. And so he said, I'll pay for the rest of the boat. You pay me back whenever. And Kevin Sullivan goes, yeah? He goes, yeah. 
They go, deal, done. He gives Kevin Sullivan 7500 bucks. Hot dog, that was five years ago. Five years ago, and J.J. Dillon has not seen a red cent. Not one penny. Not a dime. Nope. Son of a bitch. No dimes. But Kevin Sullivan, he, he brought up some good points. He read the dictionary definition of the word whenever. He said, J.J. told me I could pay him back whenever. <laughs> It's still whenever. Like this, uh, did not, it's, it's whenever. It's still. The deal hasn't expired. Exactly. It's whenever. And he said, JJ wants it all back in one lump sum, not in increments. Steve Harvey is like, is that true? And JJ's did like. Did JJ say that? JJ said, yeah, that's true. I wanted it back in one lump sum. I'm like, oh, no. look, who's, he didn't have 7,500 then. When's he going to get 7,500? It's not the task. It's not the Dungeon of Doom era anymore. It's not the Taskmaster. You know when Hulkamania first began, <laughs> nineteen eighty three. WrestleMania I'm no one. Steve WrestleMania one. Hulk Hogan and Mr. T versus Cowboy Bob Orton and the Taskmaster Kevin Sullivan. <laughs> Listen, here's a clip. Here's a little clip of Steve Harvey breaking it down. See, he's got a gold gavel. You'll see. See, Steve's. It's not just a standard wooden gavel. It's golden. You know, because he's fly. Here's uh here's Steve getting to the bottom of some stuff. All that. When, when, yeah, and it's like That's the Taskmaster. That's JJ. Okay. So did you get the boat? And what kind of boat did you get? Did you get it? I got the boat. It was a Key West open fisherman. <laughs> Have you enjoyed the boat? This is what I mean. He goes, I got the boat. It was a Key West fisherman, and the audience is going like this. <laughs> That's a nice boat. <laughs> like what? <laughs> <laughs> They're applauding. The, Good the, on you. Yeah, he's like, it, like that's JJ's money in that boat. Like, what are you clapping for the boat for? He didn't. Well, he spent it well. He spent it, it well. It's a good boat. It's a good boat. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Have you ever been on the boat? No. <laughs> I love that. Have you ever been on the boat? JJ goes, no. He's not even offended by it. He's like, no, I haven't. And the audience goes, ooh. <laughs> oh, no. First, he takes your money. Then even worse, he doesn't let you on the boat. Ooh. It's a shit stir. Yeah. yeah. Kevin Sullivan's, he's probably getting ready to put a satanic curse on them. Yeah. <laughs> Don't make me bring out the Zodiac or even more feared, the Yete. I wish he had had the Yete as a character witness. You remember the Yete? I vaguely remember it was a horrible gimmick. His name was the Yeti, and he was dressed as a mummy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's too, a Yeti is an abominable snowman. He's dressed like a mummy, and they called him the Yeti. <laughs> I mean, it, it was never explained, and his only move was bear hug. Just bear hugs. Anyway, oh. <laughs> I digress. I get seasick real easy. Oh, you okay? Yeah, well, you yeah, don't want to be I'm a, a land lover. How, how big is that boat? How many feet is that? 20 feet. Yeah, 20 feet in the ocean. It's going to be some rocking. Yes. This is the yeah, best. Yeah, but I like to rock, but not on the ocean. Woo! I like to rock, but not on the ocean. Woo! <laughs> Everyone's like, this is a court of law, goddammit. Actually, it's a court of common sense. Okay. All right. It's just so, I like that they've given up on the idea of we have to convince people that this is real. Like, all my life, people tell me wrestling's fake as if it's news to me. Mm -hmm. But I would say greater than 50% of the people watching Judge Steve Harvey think that the Taskmaster and J.J. Dillon are actually trying to settle a seventy five hundred dollar debt, <laughs> like they, like of course the, not. They would go to the ring for that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. At the end of the show, Steve Harvey tries to have a moment. You know, he likes to have his moments. He, when he talks to the audience and the camera. Mm -hmm. Is that one of those? Well, okay. not for this case. Okay, but but it's the same spirit. He finds in favor of J.J. Dillon, but because he believes in friendship, and because he loves wrestling so much. He says the court is going to pay Kevin Sullivan's debt. Yes. Yes. What although, a happy ending. Although if I'm Kevin Sullivan, I'd be like, why doesn't the court give me the 7,500? I'll give it to JJ. <laughs> like, don't even worry about that. Yeah. And then, but here's the part where it gets really insulting to me. 
He goes like this. I want to thank you all for your years of entertainment that you've given me. I remember watching the Taskmaster and Jim Morrison in there. Bob, and I'm like, he never wrestled under his shoot name. He didn't say J.J. Dillon. He used his shoot name. Come on, Judge Steve. What are you doing? I grew up watching Andre the Giant and the Taskmaster. <laughs> oh, you guys. <laughs> Steve, you were doing the Kings of Comedy when the Taskmaster was wrestling. There's no way that you and Cedric were getting on the tour bus and watching WCW Saturday night. It wasn't happening. I refuse to believe it. 